Hey, it's Tigman time for this week's edition of The Metal Box, our weekly discussion on all things hard rock and heavy metal. This week we're talking about Kiss, Destroyer, the classic album, 40th anniversary this week. Everybody celebrating that. You know, it came out actually uh, nine months before I was born, so I didn't jump on the Kiss bandwagon until obviously many years later when I was a teenager, went out and bought every Kiss album. Kiss Destroyer was, without a doubt, one of my favorite out of uh, the whole Kiss library. Awesome album, released on the Casablanca label. Uh, Destroyer was the third consecutive Kiss album to reach the top 40 in the U.S., and it was the very first Kiss album to reach platinum status. Uh, Singles included Shout It Out Loud, Detroit Rock City, and Beth. The album was produced by Bob Ezrin, who previously had done some work with Alice Cooper. The album marked a departure from the band's raw sound of the first three albums and was the first Kiss album to actually use outside musicians. They actually brought in the New York Philharmonic Symphony Orchestra to do some work on the album. The album sold between three to four million copies worldwide. I'm actually hearing there's been a rumor for a long time that Kiss are actually gonna be out this summer for a big tour. I actually heard a rumor of a particular show, but. I really can't speak about that right now. So we will keep you posted, though, here at the Metal Box. That'll do it for this week's edition of the Metal Box. Thanks for tuning in. The Rock and Roll Limo has arrived. We'll see you next week.